Hey there, this is one up Indie here coming with another basics game maker little life hack for reusable code which is called called snippets and this can actually help you out a lot because this is a short way how to do things. So without further ado, what is the issue? So let's say you have you want to create an instance. So instance create and as you can see uh, create argument no 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 so as you can see this already takes time and then you need to fill it out and so on this is stuff which is normally well a normal thing for programming but is there a way how to instantly create those things and fill them out uh, and because this is reusable stuff and is there a way yes of course because else this <laughs> video would be totally useless so you just press f4 and then you got a code snippet. Code snippet is just basically a little handy tool. So once again, press F4. You can even bind them to specific keys if you like. And then, which are the, the, on the right side, and then it tells you what it actually is. So this is the little explanation. So let's say we need a with statement. And then, boom, you just click on it. And then you don't need to type it out yourself. And then you got instantly use, and you can instantly use it. So this is kind of a super handy tool for reusable codes. That's why that's why it's called a code snippet. It's just a code piece, which is then uh, very useful for a lot of times. So I don't know, for example, switch, so for example, here, a little bit more complex. And then boom, this is a short way on how to do this. But of course, um, this wouldn't be great if you couldn't customize it. And can we customize it? Yes, we can. Just a little notice, there are different kind of paths. So if you, so this is actually the official, what is that? Article towards uh, code snippets, so link in the description below if you want to read about it. But basically, I will just go through, quickly through it. So if you are a Windows user, then this is under Game Maker and well, wherever you installed Game Maker. Or for example, for Mac OS users, this is where you installed it there. And for example, in my uh, well, where I installed it, it's just under Program Files, Game Maker, and then you got. Uh, thing which is called text editor a folder in your thing and then you got the thing which is called snippets a txt file and then for example once we cram it out this is how it looks like and this is basically the stuff if you press f4 but if you for example like to add your own stuff you just copy paste well i just copy paste it because first of all oh on what kind of key you want to bind it then the description what it actually is and then uh, a column, how do you call that? Uh, yeah, a column. Then, <laughs> if you use the column, and then after that, it's the code piece which you want to copy paste in there. So, this is, I guess, unformatted, it will, uh, it will be just instantly put in there. This is what I did, and then, for example, once you save it, and then, of course, you need to reload Game Maker because this is then uh, loaded once into memory. And for example, you press F4 and then boom, this is then for example mine, which I did inst and then sweet. And as you can see, I don't need to type in stuff because it's already in there and then I can reuse it. This is basically the whole idea be behind code snippets. Short little reusable code pieces, which you can access and customize. And that's pretty much it. So once again, how the syntax kind of easy, first of all, the button or well the the key you want to press which you save on the description then the column and then here all the stuff which is there and then of course there are a few little more formatting things like this stuff if you like this is for a line break eh, <laughs> not too terribly important but of course you can actually customize it or kill the ones which you see like if else condition oh, i need that you can actually kill it if you like and then it won't be shown or you can just override it with your own stuff so once again pretty sweet for quickly accessing code which you want to customize and then oh this is actually one of the best ones region so here once again pretty cool stuff uh, for game maker hopefully that was of interest to you and now you will become a code wizard like me <laughs> and you can uh, customize coding and make things a little bit faster and more convenient. Alrighty, that was it from my side. Have a good one. One up indie.